praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hello and welcome to this platform. If you're new here, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I am the man that God uses and I welcome you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Excuse me. If you're new on the platform, thank you for choosing to watch this. God bless you. If you're family, you always come back. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I have a good word. I have a very, very serious prophetic word. God wants your enemies to leave you alone. He wants them to stay away, but they wouldn't listen. Now judgment has come and they are wondering why. There is somebody who has made your life their mission. I've been attacking you for quite a while through witchcraft, through manipulations, and you know it. There's somebody who has been attacking you, even in your dream world, has been attacking you, even in the physical, like you are under intense attack. Even your body can express that you are under attack. You are beginning to feel things in yourself that you are not like, I mean, sickness. You're feeling strange in your body. You're losing energy. Sometimes you feel like someone is coming up against you. You are getting into a room and you feel like maybe there's somebody there watching you and all of that. And the attacks have been intense. You've prayed and the Lord has actually issued a warning to these people who are coming up to attack you. But they did not listen. Now the Lord says he will strike them even with sickness. He will strike them with affliction because they dare to lay their hands on you. One of my favorite scriptures in, uh, in the Bible, the Bible says that um, when they walked from place to place, he suffered them to, he, he suffered them to do them no wrong. He caused men to do them no wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Now, let me explain this to you. In the realms of the spirit, there is the mark of the Lord on your forehead. In the realms of the spirit, there is a mark of the Lord written, touch not. There is an uh, injunction, <clears throat> so to speak. There is a divine injunction that they cannot touch you. They cannot affect you. They cannot, you know, they can't. And the people who, who dare to go against that instruction of the Lord, that command of God, that divine injunction, and to try to afflict you, afflict your finances, your resources, God is coming up against them this season strong. God is coming up against them this season with judgment. If they dare, they try you by mistake. God will correct them by judgment. Some of these people are plagued and they don't know why they are plagued. The only reason why Egypt was plagued with 10 distinct plagues that were destructive was because they laid hands on the Israelites. God says, I will force them to let you go. The same thing is about to happen to your enemies and the people who have risen up against you. I, I hear the Lord as a man hears his friend. I have a phenomenal relationship with God. You can perceive that this prophetic word is coming straight from God. I'm not, I'm not trying to please anyone or just put out a content there to get you to say, oh, yes, Apostle Samuel post out something. I am talking to you straight from the mind of God. Because they have dared to come up against you and against your family, the Lord is saying plagues are going to be released against them. God will plague their health, plague their businesses. God will plague their finances and plague their resources. Everything that they have touched in your life, God will plague them for even thinking to afflict and to attack you. And you, this season, they will know that you are a covenant child. You are a unique believer. The Lord is saying that they try you by error. Hmm. Plagues will come on them for correction. They will be corrected. They will leave you alone by force this season. I decree and I declare the divine preservation and protection of the Lord over you in the name of Jesus. Everyone that rises up against you, they have risen up against the Lord. The Lord will come up against them strong in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you and the Lord give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Do you receive the word with gladness? I love you. Inshallah.